Right, so as you see, I've been busy with the board. It's all drilled, kind of sanded, kind of painted. So now we need to do something with these to make them uh, mountable. Because obviously with these little tiny pins we got here, we are not going to be able to get through the board uh, onto our fuse wires and buzz bars. So I've come up with an idea. So using scrap twin and earth cable, this is 2.5 twin and earth, uh, I'm able to strip that down. So it strips down to uh, twin and earth. Earth is obviously a different size to um, the outer cores, the brown and blue, light and neutral. I'll just strip that down there. And then once you strip that down there, basically, you get two solid 2.5 cores, which is this stuff here. So it's quite rigid. Uh, obviously, I use this in a, an AC situation. So um, DC-wise, it could probably carry a little bit more than what we use it for in AC, but in perfect conditions, a little bit of 2.5 twin and earth, depending on how it's clipped, uh, how far the run is, and all sorts, maximum 27 amps, which I've never seen. I've never seen a situation where it's on that, so I just put that out there, it's sort of 20 amp-ish, 16, 20 amp. Um, so, I've got all these bits chopped off. Um, I've, I've already done uh, 28, so I've got seven left to do. Uh, so I'm going to show you what I've come up with. And some are longer than others, but what I've done is I have soldered sort of two and a half inch, maybe, uh, legs onto each pin. Uh, some are straighter than others, but that's not going to matter once it goes through the board, because when they go through the board, they're going to be bent. Um, I've had uh, a couple of different brainwaves whilst doing these, uh, soldering them up. Uh, but once um, they're on, it, Oh my word. Right, I'm ready to start on my next set, so I'm just gonna quickly um, tin these. Just putting a little bit on the bottom. Oh, it's not far enough down, I don't think. There we go. So I just put a little tin tin strip on there, and I also I did prepare some short ones out, some copper that I had left over from the last lot. So we use some of them, but when they're short, they uh, they heat up pretty quick, so you burn your fingers. So what I came up with it with is um, that one's not very well tinned. The idea I came up with is uh, you heat the solder up there and you run it backwards and then you can drop it in over the other spot where it's already tinned. Hold it there for a few seconds because uh, take the heat out of it. And then you've got yourself a, a pretty good joint. So I normally do one on one side and then I flip it over and then I quickly tin the other side. Ooh. Tummy's rumbling. Yeah, so run it over the other side, we'll grab another bit. Heat up the end on the soldering iron back, drop it in. Trying to avoid melting any of the plastic on the corners because it don't smell very nice. It's probably not very good for you. So there we go, number two, nice and strong. I didn't really need ventilation for this because I uh, did most of it outside. There we go, I just burnt my finger. Number three. 
If I have any trouble with these lining up, what I'll do is I'll just take some of the solder off, but I'll, I'll come across that when I, when I get to it, I think. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So three more to go. And then we'll go outside in the shed and put a couple of these in the board. See what it looks like. Have a talk. And I'll come back when I've got everything in place, I think. We've got two more good bits. Two more good bits. No. I haven't got any more tin, have I? Oh, let's uh, tin a couple of these quickly, a bit better. I think some of it went a little bit wrong because uh, some of this copper has been outside in the shed for a little while, stripped. Uh, so it's um, starting to dull and corrode a bit. Bernie fingers time. Yes, Bernie fingers time. I can honestly say that this has not improved my soldering yet. <laughs> Let's uh, we'll work on that. Another day. Oh, too quick. A little bit too much sold on that one. Yeah, so not too bad. I'm quite actually, I'm actually quite happy with that. So yeah, let's go outside now and have a look at the board. Right, so the board is a sort of light blue colour now because I actually splashed out and splashed out and bought a tester pot. So uh, yeah, so uh, one way or another, we're going to have negative one end and positive the other end. So we're going to go positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, all the way through. So um, this, let's just uh, pop one of these in. catching which leg is catching oh I know yeah uh, I need still need to do some work on this top edge because uh, I put a, put a um, supporting bit of timber across the back so yeah that will go in there quite nicely so what we're going to do is, is uh, put the negative and positive and then we're going to have one here one here missing a leg, I must have dropped that one. Two more, two more. Two more. One more. One more. 
So once you get one side in, it doesn't seem too bad to get them through. So there we go, we've got seven in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, that's good. So what does it look like from the other side? A mess, that's what. So 90% um, 90, 90 of the time it looks like they're gonna stay in without being supported from the other side whilst we have a look at the back, but they will drop through if you push them. So idea is a large buzz bar type material, which I haven't got. It's basically we're gonna have one here. No, that's not gonna work, is it? What have we got that we can pretend is a buzz bar? Anything around here? No, anyway. We're gonna have one here. We're gonna have one here. Here, 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 one's dropped out I think, there, there, and there. So, obviously it's going to be a much thicker material, I just haven't got it with me. Um, so what we're going to do is, before we get the buzz bars in, is form some of these copper uh, things. So, uh, I'll take you off of there. So for this end, what we're going to do is we're going to bend these over flat on the board I was going to do this with pliers I might be in danger of it breaking the things off so this is far negative so these are going to be formed around like this we're going to have the negative bar um, probably just use a little bit of a, a hot glue just to hold the ends in place and then we're going to fold the uh, 2.5 copper around the um, bar and same for I don't know what we're gonna do with this side same for this side probably we're gonna bend it over the wrong way and then have the fuse wire tacked onto this and to the buzz bar in the middle with the negative sides once again bent down and looped around something like that but I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to form it better with a pair of pliers um, so we're going to have the negative side looped around the buzz bar the positive side is going to be bent back towards the middle of the cell with uh, a wire soldered across so that's what I'm thinking uh, so there, there's going to be lots of sore fingers and uh, and uh, stuff before we actually get this done <sighs> We'll drop that back over there. Dig out the one we've dropped. I haven't got room to swing a cat in here, to be honest, because um, that's a messy what's it. Just pop you back up there. Drop that one back in there. So what I'm going to do is leave this here, tell me what you think uh, of the whole idea of this so far, uh, I want lots of feedback, um, if you think a different way I could form the buzz bars on the back, that'd be great, but as it is, uh, that's how I'm going to roll this project out, but maybe for the next one, and I'm pretty sure there will be a next one, because th this, this is a way that I can make progress with the whole power uh, wall idea is by doing something that I can swap and change. I am still going to do uh, the generic power wall that you hang, but I think I like this idea because it means I can actually uh, make progress and changes as I go. So the next one I'm going to do is uh, probably going to be on a Paxilin base, which is heat proof and, and fire resistant and it's, it's wires won't chafe on it. So yeah anything you think of let me know put it in the comments uh i'm gonna leave this here because it's probably getting a little bit long but yeah i think this turned out pretty good um even though i used a little cheap bit of a ply and some blue paint yes thank you for watching please subscribe comment rate and i will see you in my next video cheers